What's the name today? You'll see. Turn up the volume. Shh. Have a seat. Should we sit here? Action. How do you know that Grandpa loves you? I know, because when he looks at me, he smiles, he doesn't frown. We feel that we love each other. I pray for her all the time when I go to the masjid. When she gets sick, the house darkens. If we fought at night, next day we will just say, good morning, and we are all fine. That's right. When I make the tea, I make it with extra sugar the way she likes it. And when she makes the tea, she makes it with little sugar the way I like it. Just don't put the sugar in the pot. No, it won't be good. When I'm in mom's house, I'm very comfortable. And she loves me the way I am, me and my kids. When grandpa knows that we will sleep over, he fills the fridge with chocolates and juices. Love has so many levels. And the higher level of love is the one that turns into actions. And that's what's called affection. One of Allah's name is the affectionate, the most loving, the one who shows love to his servants. Allah loves them and they love him back. And Allah shows us love in different ways. First of all, the blessings. Allah didn't only give us the necessities of life. Allah gave us luxuries to make our lives more pleasant. For example, food. Allah didn't only give us wheat and barley and date. No, he gave us berries. Give it a thought. Is berry necessary? Are we going to die if we don't have berries? No, but because Allah is affectionate, he gave us berries and mangoes, strawberries, oranges, variety of oranges. Allah gave us nuts and spices to make our food delicious. The same thing with clothes. Not all clothes are made of cotton and wool. The most loving give us silk and feather. Allah gave us fragrances, jasmine, rose, saffron, and basil. Look around, how many colors do you see? A lot of creatures see black and white, but Allah made us see the colors. Green, blue, yellow, and magenta, how beautiful. Look at the creatures, plants, fish, birds, not everything for us to eat. Some creatures are for our amusement, to enjoy watching them, relax on their sounds. That's how Allah shows us his love. So we don't just survive. No, so we enjoy our life. The affectionate also shows us affection by treating us well. Sometimes we need someone to talk to, listen to us, and pat on our shoulders. People around us are not always available, but the affectionate tells us, And when my slaves ask you concerning me, then I'm indeed near. Any time, anywhere, and take your time as much as you want. Allah doesn't end the meeting. You end the meeting with Allah. What's better than talking to someone who loves you, cares about you, listens to you without interruption, makes you say everything inside you, doesn't get you wrong, knows exactly how you feel, doesn't shame you, doesn't expose you. Your secrets are kept safe and most important thing is that he can help you solve your problem and make you feel better. This private conversation with Allah. He talks to us through Quran. We talk to him through supplication. This is one of the best moments in life. It gives us comfort, tranquility, and satisfaction. And you will feel the love of Allah filling your heart. Try it. Please try it. Also, the affectionate shows us love by making the worshipping easy. Allah doesn't charge us except our capacity. And Allah accepts the little deeds from us, even if it's a kiss on your mother's forehead, and rewards you with much more than you deserve. By the way, Allah is not only affectionate to the worshippers only. No, even the sinners, the affectionate calls them, sends them signs and guidance, come back to the right path, covers their mistakes, most forbearing, doesn't rush their punishment. He gives them chances and chances and chances. And if they come back and repent it, Allah doesn't only accept their repentance, the affectionate gets glad for their repentance and forgives them and pardons them and opens a new chapter for them. Allah loves those who turn to him in repentance. On the other hand, if you love Allah, not only with words, prove with actions that you love Allah, then Allah will reward you with a 
unconditional love. Allah will respond to your dua and will help you succeed in all your work. And you know what else? You won't believe it. What? What? If Allah loves a person, he calls Jibreel saying, I love this person, so love him. So Jibreel will love him. Then he will make an announcement amongst the inhabitants of the heaven. Allah loves this person, therefore you should love him also. And so all the inhabitants of heaven will love him. And then this person is granted the acceptance of the people on earth. People will love you as soon as they see you. Actually, Allah the affectionate is the one who created love and affection between everyone on earth. If it's not for Allah, no one would love us. Oh Allah, we ask you for your love and the love of whomever you love and the love of the deeds that bring us nearer to your love. Be sent. Take your kids and go to your house. I was just saying that you love us the way we are. Go to your house so I keep loving you. <laughs>